Hi friends, my name is Raj and you are watching TechWide. So in this video, I will show you how to upgrade your Windows 7 to Windows 10 without losing any data and without losing any software. So first you need to download media creation tool from internet. And one more thing, if you are getting any kind of error in media creation tool, I will show you how to fix the media creation tool error. First open your browser and then type Windows 10 ISO. Then click on the first URL. Now download the media creation tool. Click on download tool now. And you can see the download has been done. Media creation tool downloaded. Now open the download folder. And this is my media creation tool. I will cut this tool and move on to the desktop. So it will easier to understand. So this is my media creation tool. Now run this tool. Wait for few seconds. It will take some time. So if you are getting this error while running media creation tool, in this video I will show you how to fix this error and run media creation tool successfully. So first cut this window. Now I will show you an article. And you can see update that enables you to upgrade from Windows 7 to the later version of Windows. So what you have to do is first you have to update your Windows 7. Okay. If you are getting any kind of error or if you are unable to update your Windows 7, we have another method. You can manually download Windows 7 update from internet. So this update is available for 32 bit and 64 bit both. Okay. So download as per your system bit. I will show you how to check your system bit. Now open your properties. And you can see my system type is 64 bit. Okay. So I will download as per my system bit. So this x86 that means this is for 32 bit of operating system and this x64 is for 64 bit of operating system. So I will download the 64 bit software. Now click on download. So I am manually updating my Windows 7. So this is the update patch you can see. So I will cut this patch and move on to desktop. Okay. So this is my manual update patch for Windows 7. Now one more important thing that you can see pre-requested to install this update you must install service pack for windows 7 so check for service pack 1 open your properties and here you can see i already installed service pack 1 on my operating system okay you can see service pack 1 so if you don't have a service pack on your operating system, you can download it. I will show you how to download it. Just click on the URL. Then scroll down. Here you can see the option install Windows 7 service pack 1. Click on it. Then scroll down. And here you can see the option go to the Windows 7 service pack download page. Click on the URL and here you can see the download option. Most important thing that the first URL is for 64 bit of operating system and the second URL is for 32 bit of operating system. So I'm using 64 bit of operating system. So I will download the first one. Click on the download option. So now you will get these two URLs download both. Right click on the first URL, then click on save link as. 
then click on save download has been started then right click on the second URL then click on save link as now click on save so the file size is 9.2 MB for the first one and 903 MB for the second one so I will cancel the downloading because I already have service pack 1 on my operating system and if you don't have service pack 1 on your windows 7 operating system download and install both the files okay this is our first step check for windows 7 service pack 1 on your windows 7 operating system now move on to our next step after service pack 1 install this patch do you want to install the following windows software update yes so the point is first you have to check for service pack 1 okay after that install this software now you have to download and install one more software called easy fix I will show you the details in the article wait a minute so these are the two protocols which are by default disable on Windows 7 so with the help of easy fix we can easily enable the protocols so I will show you where you can download easy fix here you can see easy fix then click here to download and you can see the download has been done easy fix Microsoft easy fix I will move this software on desktop now install this easy fix software now I will summarize all the steps if you are unable to run media creation tool then what you have to do is first you have to install service pack 1 on your windows 7 operating system okay after that if you are unable to update your windows 7 you have to download this update software download the software then install it after that download this easy fix software okay then install it these are the three steps you have to do now try to run media creation tool again now here you can see the issue has been solved your media creation tool is running fine now I will show you how to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 now click on accept and I will also show you how to download Windows 10 ISO image so now you will get this option what do you want to do you will get these two options update this PC now and if you want to download Windows 10 ISO image you can choose the second option okay then click on next now untick this option you can choose as per your language okay as per your system bit so if you want to download Windows 10 ISO image you can choose this option then click on next and your download process will start but I'm going to upgrade this PC now then click on next and the process has been started and it will take some time and it is totally depends on your internet speed it will use around 5 GB of internet now click on accept now you will get this window ready to install install Windows 10 Pro keep personal files and app so as I already told you that your data and your software will remain safe there will be no data loss in this process but make sure this option is selected otherwise you can change the option by clicking on this there are three options keep personal files and app keep personal files only or nothing so choose the first option keep personal files and app then click on next 
now click on install and the process has been started and it will take some time around half an hour to complete so I will fast forward this video Finally the process has been completed and it will take around 30 to 40 minutes to complete and you can see my data is safe. There is no data loss and I will show you the other partition data as well. And you can see this is my other partition and data is remain safe and I will show you the system properties. So as you can see Windows 7 has been upgraded to Windows 10 and you can see my window is still activated okay and my software is also safe I will show you so as you can see I have few softwares so all the software are safe so this is how you can upgrade your Windows 7 to Windows 10 without losing any data, without losing any software, without losing your activation status. So thank you. Thanks for watching TechWide. Have a nice day.